what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to make this simple t-shirt with a raglan sleeve so let's get started first you fold your fabric into four places so you have four layers and then you take the desired length for mine i'm using 21 inches so i added two inches to it so i have 23 inches so i'm making it as a crop t-shirt because i don't have enough fabric but if you have enough fabric you can make it as long as you want the next thing is to take your shoulder measurement divided by two for mine i have eight inches so my shoulder measurement is 16 and then i divided it by two so i have eight inches and then on this line i'll take my armhole measurement so i'm using nine inches and then I'll bring this line down. I'll come over here and take my neckline. So I'm using three inches for my neckline. And then for the back, I'll use one inch. So I'll mark it here. And then for the front neckline, I'm using three inches. So I'll mark it here. So it's one inch for the back neckline and three inches for the front neckline. I'll draw a curve line here and then draw another curve line here like this. So on the armhole line, I'll take my bust measurement. So you divide your bust measurement by four. I have nine inches. And then I'll just use the two inches I have left for my seam allowance. And then I'm using the same measurement for my bust on the bottom part too. So it's just the same measurement. And then I'll draw a slant line from the neckline down to the armhole. Using my one inch mark from the armhole, I'll just draw a curved line like this. So I'll go ahead and cut the back neckline. And then I'll cut the armhole. And then I'll separate the back bodies from the front bodies. So now I have only the front bodies. I'll go ahead and cut the neckline. For the sleeves, I folded my fabric again into four places and then I'll take the length of my sleeve. I have 15 inches, so the length of my sleeve will be about 12 inches and then I added three inches to it. And then on this part, I'll just take two and a half inch. I'll mark two and a half inches here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and place my bodies, my front bodies on it like this and then I'll mark it out like this and then I'll just draw a line down to this place like this because I want the sleeve to be very wide I'll go ahead and cut notch the midpoint of the sleeve here so, so i'll take my front bodies i'll place one part of my sleeve with the right side facing each other i'll pin it and then i'll sew from here down to this place so you're sewing from here down to this place for the other side of the front bodies you take the other sleeve you pin it right sides facing each other you pin it to this part after pinning the sleeve to the blouse you go ahead and sew from here down to this place after sewing you place your back bodies on it and then you pin 
the other part of the sleeve to the back bodice. After pinning, you go ahead and sew from here down to this end. And then you do the same for the other sleeve. You pin them right sides facing each other. And then you go ahead and sew. The next step is to join the sides of the t-shirt. So you go ahead and pin the armholes together. And then you sew from the sleeve down to the end of the t-shirt. After joining the blouse, I'll just go ahead and trim off half inch from the top of the sleeve. And then I'll do the same for the other sleeve. And then I'll fold the neckline into two. And then notch the midpoint. So here's the front midpoint and here's the back midpoint. For the hood part, I folded my fabric into two places. And then I took the length of my hood. I have 18 inches and then I added one inch to it so I have 19 inches. Here's the front part and here's the back part. And then I'll just place it here like so. And then place it here like this. And then draw out the line. I'll trace out the line like this. Down to this place. So I'm going to use this part for the hem. And then for this part, I'll just go ahead and draw, trace it out like this. And then you go ahead and cut. For the bottom part, you should have something shaped like this. And then for the top part, I'll just draw a D-shaped line like this. And then go ahead and cut. The next thing is to sew from here down to this place and then you stop here. Where the back neckline starts after sewing this area together you go ahead and hem this part of the hood so you take the back part of the hoodie with the right side facing each other you pin it to the back neckline so you pin it to the notched part and then you pin the hood around the neckline So when you're pinning, when you get to the front notched part, you overlap the hood and then you pin it together on the front notched part. So there will be an overlap on the notched part. And then you go ahead and sew it around. After sewing, this is what I have. Lastly, you go ahead and hem the sleeves and then you hem the bottom of the t-shirt and that's it. So I ended up adding elastic to the sleeves and to the bottom of the t-shirt. Please like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not. I love you for watching. Thank you.